so Liz Cartledge now has to summon all her experience together to choose from these beautiful collection of toy dogs which one she wants to go through into the best in show competition on Sunday so a good wander along this line Liz taking another good look at them she'll make a short list of about eight and uh, could be nine as it was in Frank's case we shall be watching carefully I'm not sure where she goes some beautiful dogs in there oh look at the Charlie wagging tail there really showing its socks <laughs> off <laughs> feel very sorry for the Maltese owner because her little dog stopped showing now I've got to say I felt a little sorry for the peak owner as well because the dog was, was tired painfully coming right over to the left hand side it's not going to be the Affen Pincher. It's going to be. It's not going to be the Bichon either. It's it is the Bichon. Oh, Frise first in. Yep. And the Chinese Crested. And the Italian Greyhound. The Charlies come in. The Papillon. The little Pomeranian. The, the Prague. Prague and the Yorkshire Terrier. There's the little Pomeranian, the Yorkshire Terrier. Pomeranian, Pug and Yorkshire Terrier there at the end, yes. So that's a nice collection for her to look at. So Liz Cartledge going to pull her winner now for the Toy Group 2013. Oh, it's oh. going to be the wonderful performance from that wagging tail on the Charlie. It'll be a hugely popular win. The King Charles Spaniel takes the group. Champion, maybe Theo. And the Italian Green Greyhound takes second place there. Champion, Dallin Setsarastro, Enzo for short, gets group two. And group three goes to this multi-champion Yorkshire Terrier. July. <laughs> Racing across the ring into third spot. And there. the Pomeranian gets group four. So there we have our group winner for the Toy Group 2013, the magnificent King Charles Spaniel, champion maybe Theo. Three and a half years old and taking the group here at Crufts. King Charles Spaniel.